Now to a neighborhood crime alert. Jacksonville council members are speaking out after a violent robbery at a golf tavern in the San Marcos Square. The robber stabbed an employee here. Both council members are proposing more enforcement in areas outside of that neighborhood. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock joins us live. So Khalil, they believe that tackling crimes in other areas is going to help San Marco. Yeah, Leanna Cumber, the councilwoman who is over this district, says the violent robbery that happened behind me is one that's uncommon for the area. And she's proposing to, you know, to, uh, look at crime in other areas and make sure that that is handled because that's where the crime is coming from when it comes to San Marco. It's always awful when you hear of crimes happening, especially something that is so random and um, particularly violent. Leanna Cumber is the councilwoman for the area that includes San Marco and is also running for mayor. She's responding to what's happened here at Four Score. Sunday evening, someone robbed and stabbed an employee. They were arrested. It's a crime many business owners and shoppers told News for Jax disturbed and concerned them. News for Jax looked at JSO's crime mapping tool. From July to now, there were 86 crimes committed in a half mile surrounding Fourscore. The top three were theft, car break-ins, and assault. Cumber says to curb those crimes, focusing on ones happening in areas surrounding San Marco that trickle in need to be addressed, like ones happening at businesses on Phillips Highway. To do this, Cumber says boards like the Public Nuisance Abatement Board need to be used more. Drug dealing and stolen goods and sex trafficking. And then there are children living there. And so instead of allowing them to continue to flourish, which really will force the businesses to either make their businesses safer and not allow that to happen or be forced to sell. And having more enforcement in high crime areas to help reduce it across the city is one that at-large council member Matt Carlucci agrees with. This is a countywide and we are all involved in it together. And there's no one magic you know, solution to this issue. And so reaching out beyond our borders, I think, is important. And you're encompassing all of Duval County, all 840 square miles of it. Encumber says she hopes the abatement board is used more in the future. And she says it will not only help San Marco, but the rest of the city. Live in Jacksonville, Cleo Maycock, Channel 4, The Local Station.